Chapter 551 Dream Su Xia benefited a lot from the exchange with Dr. Agar. The doctor's life experiences, opinions on things, knowledge in his mind, etc. are far beyond what Su Xia can compare with. He had no reservations about Su Xia, as if he regarded Su Xia as a successor disciple. They spent a very relaxing time in this safe bubble space. A few months later, the destruction fleet came again. They sealed off the entire star area, searching inch by inch, wanting to grind every planet into powder, just to find Su Xia. However, the difference in space made all their actions meaningless. After this time, Su Xia and the doctor began to study the boundary-finding machine. Until now, Su Xia has not figured out the specific use of this machine. He did return to this world from the zombie world through this machine. But he didn't know for sure at the time. I wasn't sure at the time that I would be teleported back. Su Xia told the doctor. I just gave it a try. It is possible to come back. Or to stay where I am. Or even to be sent to a different world. After that time, Su Xia never touched the boundary finding machine again. He wasn't sure at all what the consequences of touching again would be. Dr. Agar was very interested in the boundary finding machine. He observed it for several months and finally said to Su Xia, There is a potential barrier between the two worlds. From the perspective of classical mechanics, no force can cross this barrier because the two worlds should not be connected in the first place. It's like a mountain that is high enough. Even if you try everything you can, you can't climb over the mountain to the other side. You can only live on this side of the mountain for the rest of your life. However, the particle has uncertainty and its uncertainty can cause it to pass through this barrier. Even if the barrier is greater than the total energy of the particle, it's like digging a tunnel into a mountain. But you can't observe the tunnel. But you can see the result. When you see it, it's already on the other side. As a result, using this machine, one can travel to another world. This is about making the impossible possible. The uncertainty of this particle also made the doctor more determined in his idea. Afterwards, the doctor took Su Xia's bracelet to study it and came to a similar conclusion. Unknowingly, two years flew by. During this period, time was quiet in the doctor's little bubble. However, the war outside has become more and more terrifying. The entire Seventh Empire has been transformed into a wartime state, and most supplies have become supply-based. Countless deaths have made people numb, and the living lives have turned into cold numbers. On this day, a spacecraft landed near the small bubble. The hatch opened, and a man wearing a black combat uniform walked out of the spacecraft. It is the summer of destruction. That Su Xia with a hideous scar on her face. Now, he is at the top of the destruction force. Compared with more than 10 years ago, he looked much worse. He was blind in one eye, had two more scars on his face, and the only remaining eye was bloodshot. Although he was only in his 30s, he looked like he was in his 40s or 50s with his vicissitudes of life, and most of his hair was gray. Su Xia, I know you are here. You must be nearby. He came to the place where Su Xia disappeared and looked around. His voice still so hoarse and indifferent. Give me the boundary finding machine. This world is not what you imagined. As long as you leave the search to me, I will let you see the real world. Your world is a simulated fake world. And so are those so-called different worlds. As long as you destroy enough worlds, you can cause problems in the simulation program. Or even cause the simulation program to crash. This method is feasible. You have to believe it. I, perhaps because he could not catch Su Xia for a long time, he actually started to use persuasion methods. He said that this world is like a game. As long as you kill enough NPCs and destroy enough maps, a bug will always occur. And what they need is this bug. The real world is perfect. The simulated false world is designed and cannot be perfect. There must be loopholes. He wants Su Xia to believe him. Su Xia. Just believe me once. Destruction Xia said hoarsely. You and I are one. We are just different consciousnesses of the same person in the simulated world. You are me. Why don't you believe me? However, no matter what he said, Su Xia did not appear. He was like a madman talking to himself, speaking his thoughts hoarsely to the deserted surroundings. As time passed, his voice gradually became hoarse. There were more and more bloodshot eyes in his eyes. At the end, he started to growl hoarsely. Su Xia, why don't you come out? His eyes were blood red, and he looked around intently, and his voice gradually changed from a low growl to a hoarse roar. Perhaps because he roared too hard, his face was a little distorted, and the scars on his face were crumpled together, making him look indescribably hideous. Su Xia, come out! Come out! 
he roared for a long time like a madman, and finally clenched his fists and punched the ground, which actually made a terrifying deep pit in the hard earth. Around them, several warriors from the destruction force trembled, and they all backed away in fear. Su Xia! Those friends of yours are not dead! Destruction Xia roared hoarsely. His voice seemed to be about to tear. All they lost was their virtual bodies. The same is true for my family and friends. They have also returned to the real world. But you didn't understand me before. I killed all your relatives and friends just to make you understand me. Su Xiao watched silently and said nothing. After a few days, the surroundings finally became quiet. Destruction Xia stopped roaring and returned to the spaceship. The war is still going on. The shadow of destruction has enveloped the entire universe. And the starry sky is full of traces of the battle between the destruction fleet and the imperial fleet. In the endless destruction and death, time seems to have become meaningless. No one knows how long they can live. Su Xia and Dr. Su continue their research. In their spare time, the two would chat about regular topics, such as what is true and false about the world. Falseness means uncertainty and countless possibilities, the doctor said. So what if it's fake? What cannot be achieved in the real world can be achieved in the false world. Just like movies and novels. If it's true, Destruction Xia should be happy. After all, his family and friends are all dead. This is why he wants to destroy the world, he wants to see those who have passed away in the real world. Resurrection from the dead is far easier in a false world than in the real world. If even movies and novels can't be realized, then what's the point of being false? Isn't the so-called falseness just leaving a beautiful dream to people in the real world? Chapter 552 Return to Zero Su Xia! Come out! A hoarse roar sounded on a remote asteroid. Over the years, every once in a while, Destruction Summer would return to this asteroid. Roaring like a wild beast, more than 10 years have passed by in a hurry. Today, he is 55 years old. A year ago, he officially became the supreme leader of the forces of destruction. After his integration, the cohesion of the entire destructive force became much higher, and all creatures that dissatisfied with him were suppressed by his blood-type methods. Su Xia, how long are you going to hide? Returning without success again made Destruction Xia extremely angry. After returning, he launched an even more brutal campaign. In the following years of war, the Empire began to show signs of decline, shrinking its defensive star field on a large scale. Five years later, Su Xia turned 60. Dr. Agar passed away. Throughout his life, he never changed his mind. He has always had a firm belief and hope that it is possible to turn back time and that one day he can resurrect those who have passed away through this method. In the last period of his life, he wrote down his unfinished thoughts on paper and solemnly handed it to Su Xia. Before dying, the doctor lay on the hospital bed, stretched out his shaky hand tremblingly, and gently touched Su Xia's chest. You are the only one left. You must go on. After the doctor's death, the female robot assistant who had been accompanying him started the self-destruction program and fell into a long sleep next to his eyes coffin. In the years that followed, Su Xia followed the path taken by the doctor and continued to travel back in time. In the outside world, the wars led by Destruction Xia are victorious, and he is going further and further on the road of destruction. In fact, both of them have the same goal. They both want to resurrect the dead. However, they chose different directions. Forty years later, Su Xia turned 100 years old. The Seventh Reich was defeated. They shouldn't have failed. In the early days of the war, the Empire had an absolute advantage. However, there was no unity within the Empire, and the various forces involved each other, causing them to miss the best opportunity for a decisive battle. After this, Destruction Xia came to power and single-handedly integrated the entire Destruction Force, making the Destruction Force a military unit. At the same time, he also used various means of public opinion to make more and more civilizations believe in the false theory. And even the interior of the empire was infiltrated by him. The combination of the frontal battlefield and the public opinion battlefield brought destruction Xia closer and closer to victory. On the day the war ended, with his white hair and gray beard, he walked step by step to the Supreme Council of the Empire. He turned around and drew his sword in front of the parliament building, looking down at the smoke-filled battlefield. Like an invincible king, Countless people cheered for him and raised the black flag of destruction high for him. He is the protagonist of this era. All power surrenders under his feet, and all glory shines on him. At this moment, he is eternal. In the years that followed, the starry sky ushered in an era of destruction. 
all living creatures are extremely fanatical supporters of falsehood and annihilation. They began to look for Su Xia, and also began to look for ways to destroy everything. At the same time, they were also looking for other ways to lead to other worlds. In such chaos and fanaticism, the era of destruction slowly entered its 20th year. Su Xia and Destruction Xia are both 120 years old. Time is a very cruel thing. The distance of the target and the frailty of flesh and blood make this cruelty vividly reflected. Some goals may take tens of millions of years, or even hundreds of millions of years to achieve. However, a person's life only lasts for a hundred years. On the last day of the year, Destruction Xia returned to this asteroid again. He is so old that he can no longer walk and can only rely on a set of assisted devices to walk. Su Xia, I'm here again. His old voice became hoarse and weaker, with a decaying air of twilight, as if coming from the tomb. In fact, he was dying. Of course, Su Xia is not much better, and his life has entered a cruel countdown. Destruction Xia slowly sat down. His face no longer had the fierceness of his youth. Only the vicissitudes of an old man remained. He sighed. After so many years, you still refuse to come out to see me? No one answered. Just the icy wind howling in the wilderness. I have always known that you are here. You are hiding in a small bubble independent of this universe. That doctor named Agar is indeed a genius. As he spoke, he suddenly coughed twice, and his thin body was shaking violently, as if he would collapse at any time. The fire of his life was like a candle in the wind, about to be extinguished. After a while, he managed to recover and said hoarsely, Until now, I didn't understand how to create that kind of bubble space but I don't know how to open your space. His voice was very weak, and he needed to rest for more than 10 seconds after each sentence. For his old body, talking is a kind of torture. I failed. Su Xia, I didn't find a way to go to another world. I couldn't even return to my original world. He sighed again, and after finishing speaking, he looked towards the distant horizon with his turbid eyes, and was silent for a long time. Only by contacting Xu Jia can he go back. But he never found Su Xia, and naturally he couldn't return to his world. After more than ten minutes, he spoke again. But, I also succeeded. Or in other words, I succeeded partially. He slowly took out a small black ball and looked at it with a more complicated expression. Su Xia, do you know what this is? He murmured in a low voice. This is the last honor of my life. It is also the crystallization of the highest technology in the world. It is the ultimate weapon. I call it zero. The small black ball in his hand looked ordinary, like a child's building block toy. But in his mouth, it is the ultimate weapon. Return to zero. This name does not sound very good, and it is easy for people to think in a bad direction. Su Xia, can you guess its function? Destruction Xia suddenly smiled. Since he came to this world, he has never smiled again and always has a cold and heartless face. This was probably the first and last time he laughed. It is a switch that can turn on a machine that I have built for 20 years at the Empire Headquarters. The only function of that machine is to induce vacuum decay. After saying that, he held the black ball firmly. This day, a catastrophe that swept the entire universe erupted from the base of the Empire's Headquarters of Destruction. At first, somewhere in space, a quantum tunneling event caused the field to fall into the vacuum, creating a small vacuum bubble. Afterwards, due to its lower energy, it also dragged down the surrounding Higgs field. The vacuum bubble began to expand, becoming larger and larger, unstoppable, and finally dragged down the Higgs field of the entire universe, into a vacuum. All known life and structure ceased to exist. Chapter 553 is legend. How much time has passed? Maybe it's hundreds of millions of years. Maybe it's tens of billions of years. The universe after vacuum decay has many more changes than before. Su Xia is probably the only person still alive in this universe. No he probably can't be considered a human being anymore. Back then, in that different space, he witnessed the disaster with his own eyes. But he was unable to stop it. His life had come to an end. The decline of flesh and blood is ultimately irreversible. At the last moment before his death, he uploaded his consciousness into the computer and became an alternative existence. Su Xia didn't even know if she was still alive. Is he the Su Xia he once was? Or is he a piece of cold data? He spent the first tens of thousands of years contemplating his own existence. In the end, he still couldn't figure it out. So he decided not to think about it anymore. He began to explore the physical laws of the universe and explore the characteristics of elementary particles. Tens of billions of years later, new life began to appear in this universe. 
What followed was a new civilization. I don't know since when. Su Xia began to interfere in the development of some civilizations and use those civilized creatures to conduct special experiments. Gradually, legends about the creator began to spread in the universe. That creator is said to be the creator of the entire universe. He created the world, created life, and guided the development of many civilizations. He is God, the incarnation of everything. Many civilizations believe this. As time goes by, the number of civilizations in the universe continues to increase and gradually becomes prosperous. Countless interstellar battleships cover the sea of stars, and the level of prosperity even exceeds the previous civilization in the universe. During this period, there were more and more rumors about the Creator, but many civilizations showed less and less reverence for him. I don't know when voices of doubt began to appear. What followed closely was the voice of resistance. Each civilization feels that they are powerful enough and can create life on their own. They do not want a more powerful life to weigh on them. Since then, many civilizations have come into contact. After lengthy discussions and combining the legends of various civilizations, they finally determined that the so-called creator was just a creature from a civilization older than them. Soon, they made a bold decision. They want to kill gods. We are not created by the creator. We are evolved. That creature called the creator just wants to use us for experiments. So he guides our civilization. Cries of killing gods have appeared in every civilization. They started looking. The legendary creator must be hiding somewhere. Finally, one day, they opened a different space, which was the different space where Su Xiao was. At this time, he had been sleeping for tens of thousands of years in order to deduce certain possibilities. A different space was opened, triggering his sensing system and waking him up from his deep sleep. One of his mechanical incarnations walked out of the sleeping space. As soon as he walked out, he was overwhelmed by the terrifying ray weapons and was instantly torn into pieces and turned into powder. Su Xiao was very calm and sent out a second mechanical incarnation. He walked out of the sleeping space again, looked at everyone with neither joy nor sorrow, and said with an indifferent expression, You guys want to kill me? A strange-looking creature came out and said loudly, Yes, creator, your time has ended, and we will. But before he could speak, he suddenly felt that his body was a little stiff and his tongue was numb. Within a moment, he fell into the battleship and died silently. Immediately afterwards, the other creatures fell one after another like dominoes. After their death, the corpses were unable to maintain their original state. Instead, they turned into pools of horrific blood, which looked very oozing, as if the genes in their bodies were broken. A scream came from nowhere. No, it's the genetic weapon of the creator. He buried death in our genes. All civilizations panicked. They fled in all directions, not daring to fight again. But no matter how far they escape, death can catch up with them. In the face of unsolvable death, all living creatures despair. In the end, several powerful civilizations were unwilling to die and made a last-ditch effort. Creator, even if we die, we will take you to death with us. These civilizations joined forces, determined to perish together, and opened a passage to the anti-universe. In an instant, the particles of the positive and negative universe collided together, and a terrifying big explosion swept the entire universe. In this way, in order to resist the creator, this time the civilization of the universe came to an end. After everything was over, only some broken temples and stone slabs were left, floating quietly in the cold universe, telling the story of the past glory of this civilization. The years that followed were quiet for a long time. I don't know how long it took before a new life was born. Su Xia still took action, but he no longer interfered with the development of civilization so obviously. He combined his ideas to create some special spaces and also built some strange machines. One of the machines he named Xuanjia. Not looking for another world or the real world, but looking for the past world. Looking for the world in his memory. This machine ultimately failed to work, and it could only travel to another world. Go ahead. Su Xia threw it out and let it drift in the universe carrying his sustenance into the distance. Later, this machine attracted the attention of some civilizations in the universe. After its special abilities were exposed, all forces began to snatch it. The war begins. In the years that followed, wars raged on and off. Many civilizations have acquired this machine and studied it, but none of them came up with useful results. In the starry sky, there are more and more legends about this machine. Many years later, one version of the legend was adopted by most civilizations and spread widely among the stars. It is said that a long time ago, 
there was an ordinary inventor who lived a happy life and had a happy family. But later, an interstellar war destroyed his home, and all his relatives and friends died, leaving him alone sitting on the ruins. Many more years passed. He shouted that the world was false and went crazy to create this machine, saying that this machine could take him to the real world. The man who created the machine lives in legend and is passed down from generation to generation. Time flies. Many years later, some organizations calling themselves Destruction appeared in the starry sky. They believed that the world was false and that as long as everything was destroyed, the truth could be seen. They feel that the existence of the boundary-finding machine is the best proof of the existence of the real world. Later, more and more creatures believe their claims. As a result, a war broke out about true and false. At the end of the war, the universe once again fell into deathly silence. Chapter 554 Reappearance Su Xia felt that she was getting weirder and weirder. I wonder if he has become indifferent because he has lived too long. A long time ago, he could no longer be touched by death. He saw the death of life, the destruction of civilization, the collapse of the universe, etc. But there was no fluctuation in his heart. He is like an emotionless observer standing coldly in the long river of time, witnessing the ups and downs of civilization. Now he can create a life at will and destroy a life at will. He has lost count of how many cosmic civilizations he has experienced the destruction of. The nature of the universe has been understood by him. He felt as if he already had the ability to turn back time and space. As long as he wants. He can go back through the years and bring everything back to its original appearance. But, for some reason, he didn't want to do that. Over the long years, he seemed to have lost not only his emotions, but also his past memories. Many years later, he was alone, drifting in the cold universe, silently thinking about some issues that he felt were important. Who I am? Why am I obsessed with going back in time? Am I the creator? If so, who created me? He thought about these questions for a long time. In this way, he drifted in the universe for countless years. He felt that maybe it was because of the lack of emotion that he had been unable to figure out these issues. Unknowingly, he drifted outside a blue planet. Su Xiao looked at it silently. He felt that this planet was very familiar, as if he had been associated with it before. But he knew very well that this planet was the product of the newborn universe and could not have anything to do with him. Go and have a look. Su Xiao whispered to herself. This planet has already given birth to a civilization, a human civilization, which has not yet entered the interstellar era. 71% of the planet's surface is covered by seawater, and the other 29% of the land is home to more than a hundred countries, large and small. Su Xiao entered one of the countries and walked into an inland city in the country. She walked slowly in the city and passed countless people. He walked aimlessly in the city for a long time, like a wandering soul who couldn't find a home. This city is very lively, but he cannot have any sympathy with this liveliness. All the laughter and laughter will flow away from him, and in the end, only coldness and loneliness will be left. Su Xiao planned to leave. He wanted to find a quiet place to continue thinking about those problems. But, just before he was about to leave, a girl's laughter suddenly broke into his mind. That laughter sounded familiar to him, as if he had heard it somewhere before. So, he turned and looked back. His eyes passed through the surging crowds, passed through the long streets, and finally saw a bright and smiling girl in the square in the distance. Next to the girl, there is a boy with outstanding temperament. The two were a couple, holding hands, talking and laughing, with sweet smiles on their faces. The girl pointed at the movie poster on the square. Her big eyes smiled like a pair of crescent moons, and said sweetly, Su Xia, let's go see the wandering earth. The second part is out. Good. Beside her, the boy named Su Xia agreed with a smile, his eyes full of tenderness. The two held hands, fingers intertwined. They walked into the cinema together and watched the science fiction movie called The Wandering Earth. After the movie ended, they left the screening room and wrote a line of text on the message wall of the cinema with a smile. Su Xia and Wang Xiaofan visited here. Following this line of text is a heart painted in red. The two looked at this line of words with satisfaction, turned to look at each other, smiled, and then walked out of the cinema holding hands. Su Xia stood in the distance, watching all this silently. Su Xia? Such a familiar name. He slowly backed away, sat on a chair, and murmured quietly. At this moment, his heart was suddenly touched. Deep in my mind, something seemed to have been loosened that had been sealed for a long time. Why is it so familiar? Where have I heard that? 
Are the people and things from the past returning before my eyes? According to Poincaré regression, if the time span is long enough, any particle will move to a region infinitely close to its initial position. Although this time span is far beyond the imagination of ordinary life, it will inevitably come true. A person dies. Countless years later, a similar person will reappear. A flower withers. Countless years later, a similar flower will bloom. It is said that many people will suddenly feel that someone, something or something is very familiar, as if they have met them somewhere before. Just because of this return, it is like reincarnation as mentioned in some religions. Whether it is a single life, a planet, a civilization, or even the entire universe, it will reappear after a long time. Just give a monkey enough time, and it can produce a hamlet. The basic particles that make up each person will reform that person after a long time. The two people who fell in love in this life will eventually meet again the next time Poincaré returns. In the history of philosophy, many people have put forward similar views, such as Nietzsche's eternal recurrence. Su Xia, a creature that has experienced endless years, witnessed a return and saw the reappearance of familiar people and objects. Su Xia, my name seems to be Su Xia. Wang Xiaofan, is she the girl who always sends me flowers? He gently pressed his head, and more and more memories emerged gradually becoming clearer from blur. He remembered, This is the earth. This is Jinqing. This is where I lived. I am obsessed with turning back time and space in order to resurrect them and reappear the past. Su Xia murmured to himself. Everything in the past became clearer and clearer, flashing through his mind one by one. Those lost people, those familiar words, and those unforgettable experiences returned to his mind again across the long river of time. This time, he won't forget it. He stood up slowly looking at the couple drifting away. A smile slowly appeared on his face. Su Xia couldn't remember how long it had been since she smiled. Since the destruction of the Earth and Blue Star, his face seemed to have a cold mask. And he became a weirdo who could never smile. I will bring you all back to life. Su Xia withdrew her gaze, returned to the starry sky, and stayed away from the planet. After that, he stayed silently in a small independent space, observing the ups and downs of this cosmic civilization. Tens of billions of years later, this time the civilization of the universe has come to an end. Everything returned to darkness and silence. Su Xia stood up at this moment and took a step forward. With his actions, the basic particles that make up the entire world begin to move in reverse. And everything begins to flow backwards. He is a lonely retrograde man. With the determination of endless years, he retrogrades for hundreds of millions of years, walking step by step towards the world in his memory. Chapter 555 Them Regrets can be made up for. This is what Dr. Agar said back then. And it is also his lifelong belief. After his death, this belief was passed on to Su Xia and became Su Xia's persistence in these endless years. Now, this persistence has finally paid off. The years are reversed. Time is turned back. Everything in the past turned into light. Rushing around Su Xia, like a big river, flowing against the direction of time towards the beginning of everything. That familiar universe is back. Destroyed planets are reborn one after another, and dead civilizations reappear one after another. Time goes back to the day when vacuum decay began. On that asteroid, the aging destruction Xia holds a black ball in his hand and has a smile on his face. It is a switch that can turn on a machine that I have built for 20 years at the Empire headquarters. The only function of that machine is to induce vacuum decay. After saying that, he planned to hold the black ball firmly and turn on the machine. But suddenly, the space in front of him was distorted for an instant. A man stepped out and stood quietly in front of him. Destruction Xia was stunned. In front of him was a younger Su Xia. His skinny body trembled, as if he had guessed something, and asked tremblingly, You? Su Xia said calmly, I have come through the years. The two looked at each other. One was young and the other was old, as if they were separated by a long time. Destruction Xia looked at Su Xia. In Su Xia's calm eyes, he saw the rise and fall of civilizations and the death of stars. Turns out, I was wrong. He let out a long sigh, put down the black ball, and his head slowly dropped. I just want to see them again. After saying that, his life breath disappeared. His life full of killing and death ended here. The basic particles that made up his body were not traced back by Su Xia and slowly dissipated between heaven and earth. Su Xia slowly turned around, looked at the bubble space in front of her, and opened it with a gentle wave. Time is still running backwards. A withered flower blooms again. A withered leaf returns to green. 
and a towering tree slowly returns to the stage of a sapling. I don't know how long it took before Dr. Agar woke up. Where am I? The elementary particles that made up his memory stayed on the day he died. The doctor slowly stood up and looked at the mirror beside the bed with a hint of confusion. Then, he was surprised to find that his aging body had returned to the appearance of a 20-year-old. Su Xia. The doctor understood everything instantly. He was overjoyed and opened the door to the room, feeling the soft spring breeze blowing on his cheeks. In the bright sunshine, he saw Su Xia with a smile. I knew it! I knew you would succeed! The doctor laughed heartily, stepped forward, and gave Su Xia a strong hug. Doctor, there is someone waiting for you over there! Su Xia smiled and pointed to the door. The doctor turned and looked back and saw the female robotic assistant who had been accompanying him on his adventures. He smiled knowingly, turned around and said, Thank you. You're welcome. Su Xia said goodbye to the doctor. He still had many old friends to visit. Blue Star. Coral City. Southwest of the city. Old Street. Jingle Bell. The copper bell shook. And the pharmacy door was pushed open. Hong Bafu and Lan Bafu walked out of the shop in confusion and looked around. Strange. We must be dead. Right. Hong Bafu turned to look at Lan Bafu. Brother. Do you still remember what happened at that time? I remember that it seemed like a white light that was more dazzling than the sun destroyed our bodies. Lan Bafu scratched his head and tried his best to remember. If they died, what happens now? Suddenly, an old voice came from far away. It's Su Xia. He reversed time and space and resurrected you. Hearing this voice, the two Beatitudes had a look of surprise on their faces. They looked towards the street corner and shouted happily. Teacher! At the corner of the old street, a skinny old man walked slowly. It was Dad. Beside him, there was a resolute-looking young man, who was his father's first apprentice and Su Xia's senior brother, Guan, who was transformed into a monster. Today, Guan has returned to his human appearance. Teacher, you are finally back. The two Beatitudes couldn't help being happy and ran over to greet him. Only with the elder dad here, the pharmacy feels like home. Teacher, didn't Brother Su come back together? Hong Bafu couldn't help but ask when he found that Su Xia was not there. He has a lot of friends. Wait a minute. At this time, Su Xia was walking out of the Machine Clan's base. He fulfilled his promise to Ross. The mechanical master, the rose girl with short blue hair, was resurrected by him. Ross was particularly grateful, and then asked Su Xia to repair his genetic defect and make him a normal person. Su Xia didn't refuse and did it easily. After that, he went to many places. Oasis Camp, Dragon City, Lingyan Tavern, Fish Scale City, Seahorse City, Nanfong Station, etc. He met many people and fulfilled many people's wishes and regrets. In the Oasis Camp, the former commander of the North Wind Organization was resurrected, and the deceased members of the old North Wind Organization also returned. Commander! Countless members of the old Beifong Organization rejoiced, and brothers Imo Zhang and Imo Zhan cried with joy. In Dragon City, Su Xia opened a passage to another world, sent Su Yulong, the lord of Dragon City, back to his original world, and resurrected his wife and daughter. He made a cross-border bracelet and gave it to Su Yulong, saying to him, This bracelet can help you travel through different worlds. Su Xia, thank you. Su Yulong looked grateful and solemnly accepted the bracelet. From then on, he was the lord of Dragon City in this world and the husband and father of the Gu family in the other world. In Fish Scale City, Su Xia resurrected those who gave their lives for the purification potion. On the beach of Conk City, Su Xia saw the long-awaited big whale. He waved his hand to help the big whale complete the evolution, which was a thank you gift from the big whale for giving him those psychic pearls. Ha ha! I can fly! The big whale jumped out of the sea with joy, and then fell heavily, making a happy splash. Later, Su Xia went to the western continent. He met Jinny in a mountainside castle in the western continent. You actually live in the castle? Su Xia was surprised. What? Jinny curled her lips. It's not like only princesses can live in the castle. Not bounty hunters? Yeah. Two. The two of them sat on the spire at the top of the castle, looking at the fallen leaves on the mountain in the distance, toasting and drinking in the crimson afterglow of the setting sun. Do you need me to repair your hand? Su Xia asked her. No, I like these robotic arms. Ginny smiled softly, and the mechanical fingers shook gently, very flexibly. She tilted her head and looked at Su Xia with a smile. 
her blonde hair fluttering in the evening breeze, and asked gently in his ear, Su Xia, the whole world is looking for you. Why are you hiding in this place to drink with me? Chapter 556 Another Him On this day, the name of the savior Su Xia spread throughout the planet. The whole world is looking for him. But Su Xia was too lazy to pay attention. He sat on the high castle, drinking and chatting with Ginny until late at night. Finally, the two of them lay on the spire, with their hands behind their heads, looking up at the stars, talking and laughing, as if they had forgotten the time. Early the next morning, Su Xia said goodbye to Ginny. He returned to Earth. At this moment, the Earth has returned to its previous appearance. Inside the school, sycamore leaves fell all over the ground. In the dormitory, Li Difu opened his eyes. A trace of confusion flashed in his eyes, and slowly got up from the bed. He lowered his head, looked at his hands, and wondered to himself, Am I alive? Difu, I'm alive too. He Li's joyful voice appeared. Didn't we get killed by Thanos snap on his fingers? His brother He Ju got up from the bed and touched his head. Quickly, check to see if there are any missing parts on your body. Li Siwa suddenly said and hurriedly explored down. When he touched the familiar ornament, he immediately breathed a sigh of relief. Fortunately, it's all still there. Li Difu suddenly thought of something and shouted hurriedly. Brother Su, Brother Su, are you there? I am here. Su Xia opened the bedroom door with a smile. In his hands, he carried five breakfasts brought back from the cafeteria, still steaming. The familiar fragrance wafted in the dormitory, and the stomachs of several roommates suddenly began to growl. Everything seems to have not changed. It is still the same as before. Li Difu asked. Brother Su, was it you who resurrected us? Um. Su Xia nodded and threw a piece of breakfast to him. Li Siwa said in surprise. Brother Su, what happened at that time? It's not a big deal. It's just that everyone on the earth has died. Su Xia threw several breakfasts to them respectively, then sat in her seat and recounted what had happened before. The roommates became more and more surprised as they listened. When they heard that Su Xia had reversed the years, their mouths all grew bigger, and they all looked in disbelief. Brother Su, Brother Su, can you resurrect anyone at will? Li Siwa couldn't help but ask. Yes. Su Xia nodded. Then can you bring my parents back to life? Okay. Everything is okay. Brother Su, you are my god. Li Sihua screamed in surprise, ran over and hugged Su Xia. His face flushed with excitement. Most of the six brothers in the dormitory are dead. Six people can't make two dads. Now, Su Xia has the ability to resurrect everyone's parents and relatives, and everyone can feel the missing family warmth, including Su Xia herself. However, Su Xia was not ready yet. He hadn't seen his parents for many years and didn't know what to say when they reunited. I want to tell my parents that I have been admitted to a university, and it is a double first-class university, Li Siwa said proudly. However, they probably don't know what a double first-class university is, and they still need to explain it. Difu, what about you? Li Siwa asked. I, Li Difu was stunned for a moment, and then said, I want to lose weight first. My parents don't like children who are too fat. Ha ha, Difu. You finally admit that you have gained weight? When did I never admit it? Li Difu snorted. He touched his stomach, and there was a more distressed look on his face. After a while, he cast a pleading look at Su Xia and asked, Brother Su, can you just help me lose weight? Okay. Su Xia replied, Ah? Uh, is that true? Li Difu looked surprised. But I don't want to. Su Xia added, Exercise slowly by yourself. Don't be so lazy. You can't rely on me for everything. Oh. Li Difu was dejected and pressed his stomach hard. In the dormitory, several other people showed knowing smiles. Room Chief Yuan Shukshu asked, Brother Su, are the two worlds of Earth and Blue Star still connected? Su Xia nodded. The passage is still there, but it was closed by me. Can't you pass the game? Not for now. Su Xia told several people, The previous game mode has done a lot of harm to the local residents of Blue Star. I will make some changes. In the game, players are lawless. If nothing else, let's talk about those war criminals from P Agency. Blue Star is not a game world. Every resident has his own thoughts and is an independent life that should not be harmed by players. Previously, many innocent residents were killed by violent players. Therefore, Su Xia plans to change the coexistence model of the two worlds and turn the two into a cooperative relationship instead of the previous game model. When he completes the transformation, 
the passage between the two worlds can be officially opened. In the future, residents on this side of the earth can travel and live on Blue Star. And the same goes for residents on Blue Star. You know, many residents on Blue Star are full of curiosity about the world of the undead. Of course, before that, there is still one biggest question that remains unresolved. Brother Sue, who opened the passage between our two planets? Lady Few asked. Who made Blue Star into a game planet? Do you understand it now? It's a person similar to me, Su Xia said. Similar people? Several roommates were surprised. Su Xia added. To be precise, they are survivors of a certain cosmic civilization in the past. At the moment when she looked back in time, Su Xia understood everything. He saw a creature. That creature, like him, once belonged to a certain cosmic civilization. Later, that cosmic civilization collapsed, and only that creature survived. He lived for a long time and tried many methods to resurrect his dead relatives and friends. But he never succeeded. The endless years pressed on his fragile soul, making him more and more tired and wanting to close his eyes more and more. Whether it's a boundary-finding machine, a cross-boundary bracelet, or the connection between two planets, they are just random experiments he did. Su Xia also conducted many similar experiments in her long life. Brother Su, is he still alive? Li Difu asked. Died. That creature was completely tired after a certain cosmic civilization collapsed. He gave up. He was so tired. The long loneliness, the endless waiting, and the hopeless future made him unwilling to try anything again. He fell into a deep sleep and never opened his eyes again. In his sleep, he performed a deceptive simulation. In the simulated world, he successfully resurrected everyone, embraced his relatives and friends under the sun, and lived a beautiful life happily. He created a beautiful fantasy for himself. The moment the sweet dream ended, his life also came to an end. After hearing this, several roommates fell silent. Fortunately, Su Xia did not embark on such a lonely and desolate road. Chapter 557 The story continues. Time flew by. Half a month has passed since everyone returned. On this day, Su Xia completed the transformation of the two planets and opened a cross-space portal between the two. The top leaders of the two worlds began to contact each other to discuss cooperation and mutual assistance between the two sides. Both sides want to ask Su Xia to be a witness. But Su Xia is too lazy. He didn't want to take care of things. After opening the portal, he could enjoy life with peace of mind. The story on Blue Star continues. In Coral City, the current city lord is Chayan who was the former city lord's secretary. Under his governance, the whole city took on a new look, full of vitality and hope. As for the old city lord Chi Lang, his results were not so good. On the day of the trial, Chi Lang cried bitterly and expressed his repentance for the past. He rushed forward, hugged Chi An's legs, and cried, Xiao Chai, Xiao Chai, because of our past friendship. Please let me go. I have a 20-year-old wife and an 18-year-old lover. They can't live without me. Chayan. In the end, Chi Lang survived. He was assigned to a farm and spent the rest of his life farming. Wu Xingui, the intelligence minister he had previously appointed, was directly executed by Chayan. Over in Haima City, the old city lord Ding Ishio abdicated. The city was restructured and elections were implemented. Not surprisingly, his son Ding Kan was elected and became the new city lord. After Ding Kan came to power, he began to carry out drastic reforms, focusing on developing people's livelihood, and various policies he promulgated were widely praised. His assistant is Chu Feng, the chief nephew Su Xia recognizes. Not long ago, Chu Feng and Ding Xiaowen sent Su Xia a wedding invitation. They were about to get married. They hoped that Su Xia could go to the wedding ceremony. Over at Fish Scale City, the city leader is still Jiang Ji, and his assistant is the fisherman. They have outstanding abilities and have nothing to say. And they manage the city in an orderly manner. Without the constraints of the mechanical clan, they no longer hid their strength, gathered an army, and defeated all forces blocking the purification pharmaceutical industry in one fell swoop. In the years that followed, other cities on the mainland ushered in a new era. After that, the Human Federation was officially established. The seven major cities in the past have become the seven major states of the Federation today. It is worth mentioning that the Oasis camp also built a city and was renamed Oasis City, which has a unique status in the entire Federation. Su Xia's Nanfeng organization stationed in Oasis City, and together with Beifeng, Blue Light, Jade Bird, White Horse and other organizations, 
was adapted into the city defense force of Oasis City, responsible for daily city patrols and security. As for Zero Point Tavern, it has returned to neutrality. Since the other elders were indifferent, Zhuangren became the actual controller of the tavern, and the wheelchair-bound wizard became his assistant. With the tavern under his control, the target is no longer limited to this planet. He wants to open the tavern to the stars and the entire universe. On the first day Zhuang Ren took power, the tavern abolished all unequal contracts. And those creatures who were forced to sign the contracts were free. Remember, what the tavern wants is true freedom. Over on the eastern continent, Andrew destroyed the left eye group and was finally free. The pollution in the forgotten land was cleared and the lake became clear. On the western continent, the Golden Iris Continent of the Federation sent an invitation to Su Xia, indicating that Su Xia's Grand Ducal Fiefdom had been established. With a large area of more than 100,000 hectares, Su Xia now has no obsession with the fiefdom. After all, the entire universe is as if he wants it. He found time to take a trip to the stars and sent Hal and the surviving aliens from the wreckage of the spacecraft back to the star territory of the Seventh Empire. Not long after, the Zerg Queen found him hoping that he could give the Zerg a separate planet. She said that bugs are too violent and difficult to control. If they live on the same planet as humans for a long time, they can easily cause problems. Can! Su Xia agreed. He opened a portal for the Zerg. One end of the door was on the blue star, and the other end was a deserted earth yellow planet. The Zerg moved their entire clan and left the planet through the portal. As for the mechanical tribe, they did not leave. All mechanical creatures stayed in the center of the continent and established a special mechanical nation. They were in alliance with the Human Federation and jointly explored the universe. Mechanical beings, unlike bugs, are sane enough to coexist with. Ross is still the mechanical master, but he doesn't have much control anymore. He met the blue-haired girl in reality and began to enjoy the love that had been delayed for 20 years. Mercer became the acting master, and Utua was his assistant. He abolished the Zerg experiment, personally killed the experimental subject number 28, that he had been thinking about. And since then, he has been solely responsible for the development of the machine race. Yu Tu often wrote to Su Xia and asked Su Xia for advice on medicine. Su Xia spends most of her time in the pharmacy and occasionally visits the school. Today, his school has become the number one school in mainland China and a holy place in the hearts of countless people. He still acted as the hands-off shopkeeper, leaving all the teaching work to the dean. San Yu and others from the North Wind Story Club also took care of the school's security work. In the pharmacy, it was still the same as before. The two Beatitudes seemed to be diligent. But in fact, they are secretly lazy. What they pay most attention to every day is not the medicine, but the relationship between their father and Wu Hong Yu. The two old men had a good past, and now they seem to be rekindling their old relationship. As for Yemo and Shin Yu, these two little girls went to a different world. Not only the two of them, but also Li Difu and others went to another world together. They all received Cowboy Xia's invitation to join the resistance. And they have conquered more than 90% of the Empire's territory step by step. I, Li Difu, am also a man who wants to become a legend. Li Difu especially liked this kind of resistance war. Because after every battle, he could receive a lot of words of admiration and praise. Today, there is another war. They need to capture an Imperial base on a colonial planet. Room Chief Yuan Shushua strategized and sat at the headquarters to be responsible for overall command. Li Si Wu took the lead. He rushed over in his mecca and shouted, Imperial Lackey, your grandfather Li Si Hua is here. He Shi, and me, your grandfather He Shi is here. He Ju, Grandpa He Ju is here. Li Difu, Grandpa Li Difu is here too. The other three people asked, Li Difu, do you also take advantage of your sister? Li Difu looked serious. In the current war, don't worry about such small problems. Soon, a big battle ended. Li Difu died in battle. The brothers immediately contacted Su Xia and called Su Xia over to perform the Great Resurrection Technique. Why did you die again? Su Xia was speechless and held her forehead. He couldn't even remember how many times he had resurrected Li Difu. He waved his hand and said, Let this guy die for a while first. Let him calm down for a while. And then resurrect him in a few days. The brothers in the dormitory all agreed. They dragged Li Difu's body to an incinerator and threw the body directly into it. Chapter 558 Game Over In the incinerator, fire rose. As everyone watched, Li Difu's body was surrounded by flames. After a while, a crackling sound suddenly came from the incinerator. 
everyone was shocked, thinking that Lady Few had faked the corpse. But upon closer inspection, they discovered that it was actually a kernel of popcorn. At this time, everyone's communicator started ringing. When I opened it, I saw that it was a scheduled group text message that Lady Few had set up in advance. Hey, I guessed that you were going to burn my body. So I swallowed hundreds of special corns raw in advance and popped a batch of popcorn for you. This is a special hardcore popcorn. You should hurry up and enjoy it. Everyone was speechless. Su Xia turned around and left. Going to another different world. The world of silent summer. He restored the world to the way it was before the zombie incident. And the X virus that caused the emergence of zombies was eradicated by him. Silent summer is no longer as silent as before. The previous experience was like a nightmare that remained deep in his memory. After his resurrection, he had many smiles on his face. Brother, I'm getting married. When we met this time, he gave us good news as soon as he opened his mouth. On the ring finger of his left hand, there was a silver white engagement ring. When is the wedding? Su Xia asked him. You must come in three months. Good. Later, Silent Xia notified Cowboy Xia. After receiving the news, Cowboy Xia slapped his thigh and immediately said that he also wanted to hold a wedding. Although he and his wife Wang Xiaofan were married in name, they never obtained a certificate and never held a decent wedding. After all, they were both members of the resistance. He directly activated the cross-border bracelet and came to the world of Silent Xia. Brother, how about we have a wedding together? Cowboy Xia suggested excitedly. Together? Silent Xia was stunned for a moment. Yes, wouldn't it be nice for us two brothers to get together? Cowboy Xia waved his hand and said, This is a cross-border wedding. Think about it. How memorable it is. And the brides are both Xiaofan. When the time comes, we can write titles like Brother Su Xia marries Sister Wang Xiaofan. Okay then. Silent Xia agreed. Soon, the news spread. Not long after, the news about Su Xia's marriage spread throughout the three worlds. After bidding farewell to the two of them, Su Xia returned to Earth. On the other side of the Earth, the girl named Wang Xiaofan still kept sending him flowers. In the past, Li Bifu and those guys often received flowers in Su Xia's name, which led to some unnecessary misunderstandings. This time, Su Xia asked the girl out, treated her to a meal, and explained everything. I know your roommates didn't tell me the truth. Wang Xiaofan smiled lightly, but I'm happy because the flowers can be delivered to you. Don't give it away anymore. Su Xia said to her, All right. She is a very open-minded girl with a good personality. She didn't bother too much. Kept a bright smile on her face and finished the meal with Su Xia. Before leaving, she suddenly asked Su Xia, Su Xia, if all this had not happened, would we be together? It should be. Thanks. She smiled, turned around and left without asking any more questions. In the years that followed, the two never had any intersection. Life is a game of constant separation and farewell. Fortunately, most people have the opportunity to say goodbye. Two months later, Cowboy Xia and the others successfully overthrew the empire and established a country that belonged to everyone. On the ruins of the former empire, they held a grand celebration banquet. All their friends in the three worlds were invited. At the banquet, Cowboy Xia was drunk and shouted with a microphone. Bai Xia, when will you marry your Xiao fan? How about we three brothers hold a wedding together? Bai Xia is his new name for Su Xia. Because Su Xia is the fairest among the three of them. As soon as he said this, the entire banquet fell silent for a moment. Everyone turned their heads and looked at Su Xia, who was sitting at the back of the banquet. At this time, Su Xia was preparing to eat a piece of grilled shrimp that Jinny fed him. Suddenly being watched by everyone, their movements froze. The piece of shrimp meat stopped in midair. Jinny's pretty face suddenly turned crimson, and a trace of embarrassment flashed across her face. She gritted her teeth and gave Cowboy Xia a vicious look. Her fists were clenched, as if she was about to turn into an iron-fisted golden wolf and kill him in the next second. Cowboy Xia's heart skipped a beat, and he secretly screamed that something was wrong, and he almost woke up from the alcohol in an instant. Oops! My head hurts! He suddenly covered his head and shouted, It must be the sequelae of the war! If I just said some nonsense, don't pay attention to it. Just pretend you didn't hear it! After saying that, he dropped the microphone and hurried into the crowd, shrinking his neck and hiding behind Silent Xia. Silent Summer looked at the sky speechlessly. The rest of the people present felt a hint of murderous intent, as if they were being targeted by wild wolves, and they all shuddered. They turned their heads one after another, 
pretending that nothing happened, and continued with the previous topic. The scene suddenly became lively again. The Lord of Dragon City, Su Yulong, was sitting not far away, with a gentle smile on his face, and said to his wife beside him, I have used the cross-border bracelet Su Xia gave me to travel to many different worlds, and I have been in every different world. In this world, Su Xia and Wang Xiaofan will come together, but the girl next to Su Xia is not Wang Xiaofan. His wife said doubtfully, Yes, he is a unique Su Xia. Su Yulong said with a smile, Dad, what about me? Beside them, their daughter Su Xiaoxia suddenly spoke, her big eyes full of curiosity. Su Xiaoxia blinked her big eyes and asked, Dad, in the other world you went to, are there any female versions of Su Xia like me? Yes. Su Xiaolong smiled gently and touched his daughter's little head. Then I also want to be with that girl named Wang Xiaofen. Su Xiaoxia blushed and hesitated. They are all girls. Su Yulong smiled and said, Don't worry. You may meet a boy named Wang Fan. Oh. Su Xiaoxia stroked her chest gently, exhaled gently, and felt relieved immediately. Time flies by and one night passes. The banquet ended in a cheerful and slightly embarrassing atmosphere. There is still one month left before the wedding of the two Su Xia, Li Difu and others from the three worlds, as well as a group of friends, were all recruited by the two Su Xia and began to decorate the wedding scene. The specific location of the wedding venue is in Oasis City in Su Xiao World. Oasis Camp is where it all begins. At this time, it is already winter. The falling snowflakes make the world a little more hazy and beautiful. Cowboy Xia found the old collector and asked this respected old man to be the chief conductor of the wedding. The old collector didn't want to agree at first. But Cowboy Xia squatted in front of his house and chattered for several days, which made him unable to sleep well at night. He really had no choice but to come with a grimace. Hey. I knew you would always come. Cowboy Xiao looked proud and said, After all, we are good brothers who have fought together and lived and died together. Old Collector. After that, Cowboy Xiao found Dr. Agar again. He grabbed the doctor's hand affectionately, held it tightly, and said sincerely, Doctor, I want to hold a wedding with high technology content, but I still lack a technology consultant. I immediately thought of you. What do you think? Dr. Agar. I'm a little busy at this time. My female assistant is being upgraded. Cowboy Xia. If you don't promise me, I will die at your doorstep. PhD. He sighed helplessly and agreed. In the next few days, through Cowboy Xia's playfulness, all the talents needed for the wedding were gathered. Dr. Agar came to Oasis City that night. Despite the howling cold wind, he still sat at the highest point in the city, clicked on the virtual map of the entire city, and planned seriously. This sitting lasted all night. By dawn the next day, a thick layer of white snow had accumulated on the protective cover in front of him. When the two Su Xia came to see the doctor, they were shocked when they saw the scene. Kao Bu Xia couldn't help but sigh. As expected of the famous Dr. Agar in the stars, he could sit outside all night in such a cold weather. If it were me, I would have run back to the heating room long ago. Silent Xia nodded in approval. At this time, the doctor suddenly said, My legs are numb and I can't get up. I can only sit here. Please help me. Aw? Uh? The two were startled and hurried over, carefully helping the doctor up. The words are divided into two parts. Su Xiao was drinking with Yi Yi and Zhuang Ren, the master and apprentice, in the tavern branch in Coral City. Halfway through the drink, Zhuang Ren suddenly asked a question. Su Xia, I think my good disciple Sun Yimo seems to be interested in you. Su Xia, Oh, just an O? Oh? Zhuang Ren's tone became more serious. Don't you have any other expression? Strong melons are not sweet. Su Xia said calmly. You bastard. How can you talk? Zhuang Ren glared and said. She and that little girl named Shen Yu almost lost their lives for you before. Is this your attitude? Didn't I cure them both? Is just curing enough? Zhuang Ren slapped the table with a bang. And a hint of anger appeared on his face. All around. Other tavern members were shrinking their necks and they all had a bad feeling in their hearts. Even Yi Yi's expression changed slightly, and he subconsciously took half a step back. Only Su Xiao looked calm and said, There are some things that cannot be forced before fate arrives. Really? Shuang Ren's voice rose an octave higher. Do I have to force it? You can try. Snort. Shuang Ren snorted coldly and said, You bastard. Do you know that I have wanted to teach you a lesson for a long time? As he spoke, he rolled up his sleeves revealing his strong arm muscles. He waved his hand and said coldly, No one can stop me. 
I'm going to teach this bastard a lesson today. The surrounding tavern members retreated in panic. With this posture, who dares to stop it? He also put down his wine glass and planned to retreat further, not wanting to be affected by the battle. But at this time, a voice as thin as a mosquito's fly suddenly came to his ears. Disciple, stop me. This bastard is too powerful now. I am no match for him. Do you want to watch me get beaten? He was stunned for a moment. But he reacted quickly and immediately pretended to be panicked. Stood in front of Zhuangren and said hurriedly, Master, we are all members of our own family. If you have something to say, don't do it. Doing so will hurt the harmony. Snort. Zhuangren snorted again, seeming very uncomfortable. He put down his fist, looked directly at Su Xia, and said, For the sake of my apprentice, I will let you go today. After saying that, he turned around and left with an indifferent look on his face without even finishing his drink. In the same place, only Yi was left sighing. Yi was also a little worried about his apprentice Yimo, and said to Su Xia, Mask, you are so powerful now. Can you create a few more bodies? Each body accompanying a different person. Okay. Su Xia nodded. Real? But I don't want to. Why? I'm lazy. Yi Yi sighed secretly and stopped mentioning the matter. He picked up the wine glass and clinked it with Su Xia. Time passes like this day by day. The wedding day of the two Su Xia finally arrived. On this day, the entire oasis city turned into a sea of celebration. Pieces of holographic roses fell from the sky. Thousands of them, flying all over the sky, forming a beautiful and romantic rain of roses. The two newlyweds walked step by step towards the wedding hall amid countless blessings. All relatives and friends were there, and everyone had a heartfelt smile on their face. So many flowers. Jenny smiled sweetly, stretched out her mechanical arm, and caught a falling holographic rose fragment. The fragment slowly faded and turned into a romantic light red, dissipating on her fingertips. This holographic rose rain is the work of Dr. Agar. The old collector originally wanted to use real rose petals, but the doctor felt it was too wasteful and the effect was not perfect enough. So he adopted this method. The entire wedding was enveloped in this romantic rain of flowers. Su Xia sat next to Jinny and asked her with a smile. What is your favorite flower? Me? Jinny's eyes narrowed slightly. It should be Narcissus. Is it because of that movie? Yes. Do you remember the scene of the hero standing in a field of daffodils? Of course I remember. Just as he said that, the wedding came to the most critical moment. Witnessed by countless relatives and friends, the two newlyweds exchanged rings, said the words, I do, and then kissed each other. This moment is extremely romantic as if time is not even passing by, and just wants to keep all the good things. The picture was transmitted to the other two worlds, and the people in those two worlds also cheered. Finally, it's time to toss the bouquet. Two brides, two bouquets. It was like they had discussed it. One was thrown at Jinny, and the other was thrown at Jinny. Su Xia sighed, and suddenly felt a little stressed. He didn't know why he felt pressured. After all, he was already the savior of the universe. Bye Xia! Flower ball! Cowboy Xia shouted happily. Su Xia smiled helplessly and said, I understand. I understand everything. After the wedding, the three worlds returned to their original tracks. Su Xia's friends all had their own lives. Some, likely Di Fu and others, have formed a team of adventurers from all over the world. They often travel to other worlds through cross-border bracelets and go on exciting adventures in other worlds. Others, such as Lan Guang and Ding Kan, choose to stay on this planet and are determined to build this planet into a more perfect place. Su Xia is very leisurely. He travels around with Jinny every day, eats and drinks, and enjoys every ordinary day. On this day, the two of them once again lay on the top of the castle spire, looking up at the stars. Jinny suddenly smiled and said, Su Xia, I heard that you have firmly stated that you will not fall in love in this life, and you must travel in the stars and explore the mysteries of the universe. Have it? Have. You must have heard wrong. I heard that right. Those are all rumors. I didn't say anything. Su Xia looked serious and denied it. As long as he doesn't admit it. He didn't say it. Jinny smiled. Okay. Don't talk about this. Talk about something else. The two of them seemed to have endless things to talk about. As if they could never get tired of talking for the rest of their lives. They talked until late into the night. They returned to the room and continued chatting until they fell asleep. The hour hand rotates little by little, and slowly comes to 8 o'clock in the morning. Jenny woke up leisurely, with a trace of laziness on her pretty face, 
and stretched slowly. Su Xia? She rubbed her eyes gently and found that Su Xia was not beside her. She thought she had gone out. The room was a little stuffy. So she got up and put on her slippers, walked to the window, opened the curtains, and gently pushed the window open. The next moment, joy filled her heart. Outside the window, the morning light was soft, and tens of thousands of narcissus swayed gently in the breeze, turning into a sea of narcissus, which was dreamlike and indescribably beautiful. Su Xiao was wearing formal clothes, standing in this sea of narcissus, looking at her with a smile. Su Xiao! Jinny was filled with joy, jumped down from the window, and ran quickly to Su Xia in the sea of flowers. They embraced each other in the sea of flowers, petals flying. After a long time, the two of them leaned together and lay in the sea of flowers. Su Xia, how long have you been standing outside? About two hours. You just posed like this for two hours? Jinny suddenly wanted to laugh, but she was so moved that she wanted to cry, and her bright eyes were covered with mist. She held Su Xia's hand and said to Su Xia, Next time it's me. I'll play the role too. What are you going to play? Su Xia asked with interest. Pride and prejudice. Mr. Darcy. Darcy is a boy. I don't care. I will be Darcy, and you will be Elizabeth. I will walk towards you through the mist in the dim morning light. And then confess my love deeply. Okay. Should I go buy a long skirt and put it on? Ha uh ha. -huh. The narcissus swayed. The fragrance of flowers overflowed, and the flying petals gradually submerged their bodies. Every day in the future will be spent in the ordinary and the beautiful. A few months later, at the request of many players, Su Xia created a game called Looking Up at the Stars. This time it's a real game. He set the background of the game to Blue Star, which is roughly the same as Starry Sky before, except for changing some minor rules. Moreover, he made himself into three Easter eggs, waiting for players to discover. The first person to collect three Easter eggs will win a grand prize. Just two days later, Ginny happily hugged Su Xia's arm and said happily, Su Xia, Su Xia, I found three Easter eggs. How are you going to reward me? You don't count. You're an insider. Su Xia controlled the mouse, logged into the game, and created a character codenamed Mask Stranger. The new, looking up at the stars, has been well received since its release with almost full marks from major websites. Its popularity is no less than looking up at the stars in the past. The novice map codenamed Oasis Camp is regarded as a holy place by countless players. Many people are willing to register dozens of times just to randomly visit this map. Of course, Su Xia doesn't need to be random. As soon as he came online, he was in the Oasis Camp. This camp was created based on the old camp he remembered, and everything was full of a familiar feeling. Do you think it looks like it? Su Xia asked Jinny beside her. It's very similar. It seems I have a talent for playing games. Su Xia smiled slightly, controlled the character, and walked around the camp at will. A few minutes later, he moved the mouse, gently moved the cursor to the upper right corner, and clicked the exit button on the system interface. The picture gradually darkened. Su Xia closed the official game website and slowly closed the computer. The game is over, and it's time to return to reality. End.